Guys, you know what's really funny? During this episode, not once have I talked about any exercise on how to get abs. Not that I remember, at least. It's not that I've forgotten or anything, it's just that... I just haven't felt that I have the credibility to show you exercises of how to get abs or good exercise, my favorite exercises, when I don't have any abs. It's like a broke person telling you how to get rich. That would be really funny, wouldn't it? That's why I haven't done like, you know, workout tips and show you my workouts because I didn't want to do it until I got to this point and further on. So now today, now that I actually have my apps, I decided that I am going to dedicate this day to show you guys my best tips and exercises on how to get abs. Very All right guys, before we do the exercises and my tips, I want you guys to check out this channel. Now, you've probably seen under the tag, my fitness inspirations, there's this guy called Goody Beats. Now, coincidentally, one of you guys asked me about keto and I'm in no way expert on keto diet. That's the perfect opportunity for me to introduce you guys to Logan, uh, Goody Beats. And it's because he does keto. He's like an expert on it. And the reason why he is one of my fitness inspirations, specifically here on YouTube, is because me and him we have very similar stories uh, he was at an all-time high and he felt that you know he wasn't really satisfied with what he had achieved you know letting himself go up to that point and then decided to make a turn and just change his life and now he's really goddamn big uh, let's check out a snippet of his video We have to make one thing clear and I've already talked about this. It doesn't matter how many ab exercises you do, it doesn't matter how heavy you do your ab exercises, if you have a layer of fat covering your stomach, they're probably not gonna show. Unless you have really, really thick abs. And everybody has different amounts of muscle mass. The more muscle mass you have, the less fat you need to get rid of to get your abs to show. Now, to demonstrate what I mean and really get us into perspective, uh, let me show you this example here. Here we go. Much easier to demonstrate. Let's say this is your muscle, all right? This is your abs. This is totally how, the, how an abdominal looks like. If you have no fat, all right? So fat, muscle, there is like this bump here. It's gonna show much more, even if you have like a small muscle. If you have no fat, it's still going to show. Now let's say you have much bigger muscle, but you have a lot of fat, so this is your fat. There's like this little bump. Even though you have a bigger muscle, in comparison to this bump right here, it's gonna show much more than if you have like a huge layer of fat. Your muscle could be this big, but if your mus if your fat goes up here, it's not, it's not gonna be shown. Um, if you have no muscle and no fat, still, it's not gonna show, right? But if the point is, if you have a lot of muscle, it's important that you lower your fat percentage. Now, the more muscle you have, you know, the more fat you can have, and it's still going to show <sighs> wow it's really I'm not a scientist guys do you if you understand hit a thumbs up I I, I tried my best I tried my best here this did not go as I planned in my head but what if you don't have any muscle mass like I showed on your pa on the paper if you don't have any muscle mass and you're trying to lower your fat percentage even further it's not like it's just gonna appear out of nowhere you gotta have muscle mass first before you try to get them to show so how do we do that you're wondering If you're looking to build some muscle mass, you're gonna count on adding a little bit of fat. 
and that's what I'm planning to do after my roll to six pack ends. Now, once you have gotten the desired amount of volume, then you can start losing the fat, cutting that away because it will be covered over your stomach once you're bulking. So you have to count on not having your abs while doing that process and then in the end, you're gonna get it. You get me? You following through? Yeah? It's cold as shit out. When is he coming? Now, depending on how clean your diet is, you can add more or less fat. You know, you don't wanna spend your time bulking four months like I did or bulking and then end up trying to lose that fat over the course of eight, nine months. That's just total misery. Trust me, you don't wanna do that. All right, so now that we're at the gym, are we supposed to do abs? No. What we wanna do is work out our entire body. Today we're gonna do shoulders and arms. And we really wanna do compound exercises because those involve your core. If you only do machines, like for God's sake, don't only do machines. If you do machines, that's really good to isolate one part of your body. By doing compound exercises, you're gonna need to stabilize your core. So your stomach is gonna be in action all the time. It's always gonna be working. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Now when we're in the gym working out our entire body each day of the week, we might burn about 250 to 300 calories per workout session. However, the body needs to regenerate. We aren't just gonna burn those calories. As a matter of fact, we're gonna burn calories throughout the rest of the day because the body needs to regenerate and rebuild the muscle mass that we just broke down in the gym. Scientifically, it's proven that we burn calories two to three days after our workout. That's way better than running on a track and just burning calories on that instance, right? So, do we only need to weight lift and we never need to do cardio? Is that what you're saying? No, not necessarily. The less your body weighs, the less calories is gonna be needing. Therefore, if you're looking to burn even more fat, you have to push your body to a further extent. Now, let's take this example. My previous body of 92 kilos might have needed 2,700 calories to maintain its weight. Now that I weigh 77, 76, 75, I'm just jumping up and down. Um, my body, is gonna increase in weight by eating 2,700 calories. Now my body needs to eat about 2,500 or 400. That means you have to cut your calories lower as you lose your weight. Now you can't just keep cutting your calories forever, you know, because otherwise you're just gonna feel like you're dying. One good way is to do aerobic, ex aerobic, aerobic exercises, cycling, walking, swimming, running, all these exercises that get our heart rate up and keep it consistent for a certain period of time, put our body in a state where it's prone to burn fat. In the beginning, I only needed to do three cardio sessions a week. Now I'm doing even more. And even with that, my calories are lower. So a lot of people hit a plateau where they're trying to lose weight and get their abs to show and somewhere along the lines, they get stuck on the same weight It's because they're doing the same thing. You have to remember that you have to keep increasing the intensity when your body adapts to its circumstance.
And you're probably wondering, Rez, like, where are the exercises? I wanna do ab exercises. We're getting to that. Just uh, let me eat this up and we'll go to the gym, all right? When I'm in the gym doing cardio, I mostly walk uphill because raising my legs when I'm walking activates the abs. And I try to do cardio before doing abs because I don't want to have my core entirely exhausted and I can't even walk or run. Um, so walking uphill, bicycling, uh, the cross trainer, really good exercise that involves your abs um, while doing cardio. So I'm just going to finish this workout, uh, this cardio session, and then I'm going to show you my three exercises. All right, now that we're done with the cardio, let's go straight to uh, the ab exercise. So for the first exercise, you wanna grab the triangle and uh, do the exercise as following. What you want to do is you want to grab this handle, put it in the middle on the machine so that you can twist your torso. Now that's going to give tension to the upper abs and also on the sides, the so-called obliques. But what if you want to give more tension to the, your lower abs? Here you wanna do six to eight, and if it's really heavy, just pull in your legs. Instead of doing like extended legs, which is gonna be heavier, this exercise is generally heavier to do. So if you can do it in the beginning, um, work out with that way instead. This right here is also another exercise which is really heavy so you don't really need to do a lot of reps and if you think that it's too heavy for you if you're starting out you can help out with grabbing your legs and assisting your uh, sit-ups. It's a great way to incorporate all of your stomach as well as the lower parts instead of just doing average sit-ups. It's really important that you treat your abs just like any other muscle group. You're not gonna get progress from hitting abs once every two weeks, doing a few sit-ups, and you're not even getting your you're not getting sore. What you need to do is you have to have progressive overload. Workout heavy, you have to incorporate different types of exercises because your stomach has different areas and different parts, all of which need attention. Those are just a few exercises that I think cover most parts but they are in no way the only four that you can do. By mastering these four, you can then experiment with others. These are the ones that have done the most. Now stay tuned for more exercises on abs. Since I got them, I feel that I have the credibility to talk more about that. But again, I am not a full certified expert on bodybuilding. I'm just sharing my tips on how I achieve my goals that's probably gonna work out for you as well. All right, so in conclusion, that's how you will get your abs. Easy, right? Yeah, it's a shitload of things. Just as I mentioned in the first episode, the six pack is a destination on a roadmap where we all have different starting points. All right, if you liked that video, make sure you hit a thumbs up. And if you think that this information is valuable to anybody, make sure you share the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my videos if you don't wanna miss out any further content. This is growing into a movement and the purpose of this channel might change into becoming more of a unity thing than about me. So stay tuned for my ideas 
based on that. If you have any questions or want any advice on meal plans or workout programs, make sure you hit me up on T-Res Fitness on Facebook before you ask me any questions. Be kind enough to hit a like and I will gladly help you out to reach your goals. If you can't wait for another video to be published, follow me on Snapchat because there you'll see my daily activities on what I'm doing and how I'm doing things to reach my goals. And last but not least, make sure you follow me on Instagram as we are growing there as well. I'm creating a more plat a broader platform there to communicate with you guys and I am really active on the comments. So just uh, just follow me there and support me. I would really much appreciate the fact that you are doing so. See you on another video. Peace.